Okay, ladies, here I am. This is beautiful Carissa here. She is an anesthetician and at the Canyon County Dermatology Department in Nampa, Idaho, and she's going to do her magic on me and explain as she goes. Pray for me. She's great. <laughs> All right, go ahead and scoot up her face just a little bit. All right. Okay, so first things first, we are just going to cleanse Miss Lori's face. There you go. Okay. So we'll be using our XLV laser. So XLV has a couple different hand pieces on it. Since Lori has a little bit of uneven pigment here, she's got a little bit of broken blood vessels on her upper cheeks and nose. This is really common. And a couple of some age spots, a little bit of brown spots kind of here and there. Uh, this treatment will really help improve the tone of the skin. So basically what happens when the device, uh, any type of laser is attracted to uneven pigment. So it sees those brown spots, is extra attracted to them, pulls them to the surface, they will become darker, they turn dark brown to black 24 to 48 hours after the treatment, and then they will slough off of there. Like, they look like little coffee grounds or pepper coming out of the skin. So they don't scab, they don't ooze, they don't bleed, nothing like that. They simply just become darker and then um, slough off of there. And so you would expect them to just look um, lighter, if not um, gone completely. As far as the redness goes, the device, of course, being attracted to uneven pigment, the heat of the laser works to destroy that vascular component. So all those little broken blood vessels that contribute to facial redness, the heat will de just destroy those and then the body naturally absorbs them over the course of the next several weeks. Added benefit to this type of treatment as well is the collagen stimulation. So collagen makes up 30% of our body's protein. Collagen is actually what helps hold our skin together and give it its shape. Um, we lose collagen naturally as we age. Also, sun exposure can cause premature aging and loss of collagen as well. And so this type of treatment will actually create new, new collagen. Since this laser omits light, we are going to put a pair of goggles. When swimming. On. <laughs> Go ahead and lift up just a little bit for me. Does that feel okay? And then of course I'm going to put on a pair as well. Uh, so this first laser that I'm going to use, I actually refer to it oftentimes it, to make it more simple for my patients, is uh, the mean laser. So this is my 532 um, XLV that is what's going to dial in on this, this redness that uh, Lori has in her upper cheeks and nose. So we're just going to target these areas specifically with that What'd laser. You on? This is a clear ultrasound gel. This just works as a barrier between the device and her skin. Also helps with epidermal cooling. So of course we're throwing a bunch of heat in with the laser, so we want to properly cool it uh, to protect it from getting reheated. Of course, helps with comfort. If you well. say smoke, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> this laser does not feel the greatest. Everyone tolerates it though. The best way I can describe it, and Lori may say, it, it feels like a central needle prick and sting. Sometimes people say a hot snap of a rubber band. Really no lingering pain, maybe a slight sunburn-like sensation afterwards. This device cools down to five degrees Celsius, so really, really cold. We pre-cool the skin prior to. Yes, I'm very cool. Oh, cool. Did yes. you hear that? Uh -oh. Go ahead and turn your head for me just a little bit. So again, I'm just going to treat upper cheeks and nose with this one to destroy those broken vessels that she's got on her upper cheeks. Probably All right, ready, two, three. Mommy. <laughs> and this laser, you can actually, I wish you guys could see this, it's very cool, you can actually see the blood vessels being destroyed. Because this laser, I've got a little glass piece on it where the laser omits through, and you can see the little blood vessels just destroying right underneath it. So that just gives us a good sign that we are at a good setting to give her optimal results. Oh, I know. And as we move in towards the nose, it does tend to get a little bit more uncomfortable. Most people's eyes water just a little bit. I hope I don't sneeze. Sometimes that does happen. All right, let's go ahead and turn. So she's
she does just have, and you'll see uh, maybe on this cheek here, she gets pretty red uh, fairly quickly. The redness actually will dissipate typically within the next couple of hours, though it wouldn't be uncommon for someone to have some lingering redness for a few days, just depending on your skin type. How are you doing? Hey. I'm not crying. It stings. It does sting. It is painful. Yes, no pain, no gain. That's the nose one that's actually over that. You don't have to scream, but. For now, I'm going to go in with what we call my little Dermastat pen. So, this is a much finer tip on it. Uh, it's two millimeters, so really, really really little. And this one is really good for dialing in on some random little brown spots. So Lori's got this brown um, yes. spot up on her forehead here. A couple of other little small ones as well. Gosh, we're kind of combining a little bit of XLV. It's kind of tailored to each patient. Uh, Laser Genesis is going to be the bulk of the treatment, which we do charge $200 per treatment. Sometimes a little added stuff in here, uh, like what we've just done, maybe an upcharge of $50 to $100, just depending on the patient. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm actually turning it down. Oh, okay. so I was on a much higher setting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay, here it goes. Yes. You know we're in trouble. So this device, we can actually treat so many different things with this. So we've got lots of different settings that we may use, also depending on uh, the color of your skin. So lighter skin types can take more aggressive treatments, whereas darker really? skin, yeah, because of the melanin in our skin. Mm. So what's the difference between this and IPL? I've been asked that. Yeah, the difference between this and IPL. IPL, I like to use, we are targeting specifically brown spots only is clinically indicated for those with rosacea as well. However, this is just a more, in my opinion, aggressive and dials in on the broken vessels better. I can also fine tune it a bit more too. So lots of different settings within this laser that allows me to treat things more aggressively. Whereas an IPL, you kind of get an A, B, C, one, two, three type of setting. So still, IPL is a great, great treatment, but in Lori's case, when we're dealing with reds and browns, so the bulk of those brown spots do really well with the IPL, but now we're kind of targeting some lingering redness and just some random brown spots here and there. The thing is, for darker complected skin types, Hispanic, Asian, and beyond, this device is actually safe to treat all skin complexions, whereas the IPL is limited to what we call Fitzpatrick 1, 2, and 3. So our lighter skin types are the only uh, type of uh, skin that can have an IPL done. Interesting. Yeah. I like you turned it up again, Carissa. I didn't turn anything up. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go in with the Laser Genesis right now. This treatment on its own is actually very comfortable. Patients yeah. love this. No downtime with Laser Genesis by itself. It can treat so many different things. We can treat uh, just overall facial redness. It's gonna treat you know pore sizes. We can treat active acne with this. If we're just looking for an overall just rejuvenating anti-aging treatment, this is really really great for that, especially with no downtime. But what this does is it bulk heats the skin, and anytime we do that, we are stimulating collagen. Patients will really notice a difference in their skin in about two to three weeks as those new collagen cells rise to the surface. So you should notice, you know, lessened pore sizes and overall just more even complexion. Make um, those open pores. Yes, and this is a really good treatment to do to for maintenance. Uh, so commonly, if, if Lori hadn't done those previous treatments, then I would say, you know, laser genesis is something we would want to do a series of about six of these treatments, uh, spaced about three to four weeks apart to get optimal results. But in Lori's case, we're just kind of doing some maintenance here and a little bit of touch up. If you have hot flashes, it may be a little much, so bring your ice bag. <laughs> Me, I'm kind of past that. I don't know. We'll see. It does. So patients say that it feels like warm raindrops on the skin. And so the goal is bulk heating a, a given area. It feels good, yeah. So we'll do about a thousand laser pulses here. So just a, we've done about 200 already. So they shoot out very, very, very quickly. Please tell the patient if they are heating up too 
quickly and they feel like they need to pull away, you just let me know. We'll move on to a different area. But I actually, I have a little thermometer attached to this too, so it lets us know if we're getting too hot. Of course, we don't want to get too hot. What's too, too hot? Well, we can melt fat in the face, and that's the last thing we really? want to do. Really? Oh, gosh, no. Right here, though. Can you do this on my tush right. <laughs> and belly? They signed me up, too. Who wants to do laser genesis to me? <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to the other section of her cheek here. Of course, I can move this more quickly. It takes how long to do if, if we're not yapping? The, the laser genesis it takes about 30 minutes to okay. do. So I did both um, sections of the cheek and now I like to go in and do a whole extra pass. So you will probably have a little bit of minor swelling and redness in your upper cheeks because we did treat yeah. with that more aggressive laser there. Okay. If we were just doing the laser genesis treatment on you today, the redness would dissipate. Oh gosh, sometimes even by the time the patient leaves here, that redness has already gone down. That's so good. It's really fun. I absolutely love it. And the ladies are wonderfully sweet. And oh, fine. that's awesome. So you do have um, quite a bit of engagement then. Yes, they yes, do ask yes. questions. Yep. I'm actually doing around the nose, chin, and mouth. This area does tend to, especially with the nose, the cartilage, um, heat up a little bit quicker. So we don't want to isolate that area on its own. We just kind of yeah, go through and evenly distribute that heat so it's not um, getting too hot in a, in a given area. So, you know what I was looking for lately? I'm trying to find a good travel palette. Oh, like yes. the all-in-one, the, you know, the blush, some bronzer, oh, highlighter, yes. eyeshadow, when you've got oh. minimum space. So that concludes that laser genesis, so. Okay. I come back to the world. Yes, very bright. I am extra nice and put my hands here so that yes, she doesn't. Yes, she is. Because <laughs> I'm tearing a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Like I'm looking, can you see my face? Feels one. It feels tight. Yes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply some of Epionce's Medical Barrier Cream. This is just basically a moisturizer soothing cream all in one. And it's more of a botanical based line. Yes, yeah, so this is soothing and moisturizing. Sometimes people feel like it's a bit greasy at first, but this really does soak into the skin nicely. It's just going to help soothe and, and, and moisturize. So now I'm just putting some sunscreen on. I really don't let anyone leave my table without sunscreen on their face. Right arm. So. That's 365 days a year. It doesn't matter what it's doing outside, you put your sunscreen on. If you go and you get your nails done, mm -hmm. you better put some sunscreen on or cover those hands up. You're putting them under a UV light. Oh so my God. you may as well be baking them in a tanning bed. Yeah, you gotta put that you sunscreen hear that, on. Ladies? Good to know. Yes. People don't realize though, no, that. No, they don't. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But it says UV light. Well, a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> Oh. Was that fun? <laughs> it's fun. Hopefully, got it in. She's adorable. She is a great enunciator too. Hopefully, oh. you can hear it in the back row. All right, ladies. Thank you for joining me, and I will come back for checks to show you the coffee grounds. I love you all. Bye.